Hello and welcome to A, a Couple, Couple Codes. Codes. My name is Cody. And my name is Emily. It's been 43 weeks since we started the Odin Project. So today we're going to talk about our updates with the Odin Project, with starting our business, and with our job search. So as we mentioned in our last video, we have been slowly getting back into the Odin Project in our spare time, but our focus has primarily been on launching our business and doing a job search. So Cody, do you want to share where you are with the Odin Project? So getting back into the Odin Project, I have completed the space complexity section of the JavaScript course, and I actually started getting into the advanced HTML and CSS course, which is the course after the JavaScript course. There is the final JavaScript project. Uh, if you've been watching this channel for a while, I did work on the final JavaScript project for a time period. The approach that I was taking was a little bit different than the instructions from the Odin project. The Odin project was instructing students to just copy their favorite website. I wanted to take something different, something more interesting for me, uh, in particular from my background in sensory science, I have an idea for a software as a service application. So I wanted to create a new site. Now I think that site's gonna take quite a bit longer to build, but I do have quite a bit of the interface uh, built for it already. So I didn't want that to get in the way of continuing on through the Odin project. And really my focus now is getting into the job search process. I skipped over the final JavaScript project. I'm gonna come back to that once I've uh, gone through most of the Odin project and some of the other projects um, and then polished up my main portfolio pieces for my job search. But yeah, started that advanced HTML and CSS section and that's pretty much it. What about you, Em? I am still working through the JavaScript course. I believe I'm 81% of the way through and I'm working through the React section. So I finished the section on React routing and now I'm working on React testing. But a lot of my time over the past two weeks has been focused on the business setup and making sure everything's ready to go. We do have some exciting progress with it. As we mentioned in our last video, we had our first big sales pitch with a client and the client has decided to hire us. So we're really excited about that. They're currently reviewing the contract for signing it and then we will be moving forward with them. So pretty pumped about where that's going. And otherwise, most of our time has been spent on the job search. So do you wanna talk a bit about that? Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, I'm polishing up some of my main projects that I am putting out there to show employers. So I think I mentioned this the last time, Meal Prep Fun Day is a full stack web application that I've made. And I wanted to polish that up because that was one of the first projects that I've done. It was first diving into just like the whole entire stack. So I wanna make sure that the forward facing portions of it are as clean as they can be for my portfolio. I completed the about uh, landing page and then started doing the pricing page uh, since the last video. However, that got interrupted because I uh, have a couple leads for jobs right now based off of the community that we're involved with, with the local tech scene. One in particular came up that seemed really promising, so I reached out to the hiring manager and uh, it seems like an interview is gonna be coming on down the line, so I made sure that my resume and cover letter were very clean. That was something that we worked together and I also worked with my brother on the cover letter and resume to revise it and tailor it to the job specifically. The cover letter was actually a really good opportunity to get that um, polished up a bit to explain my unique background and to talk about my interest in the role and, and how uh, there's a fit between that background and, and the role itself. So uh, yeah, my older brother was a really good help with that. Uh, he's a senior software engineer. He's hired individuals, so he had a good perspective on how I could polish that up. And then M was really helping me with the revisions, uh, final revisions of, of the app application for that. But while I was doing the, the main portions of the resume and cover letter, getting that up and running, M was helping me out by looking up a bunch of behavioral interview questions and just creating a big list. And so once, once I did submit things, uh, we actually took all of Wednesday and was practicing behavioral interview questions. 
So essentially it was M interviewing me with a, just a bunch of random behavioral interview questions. And it was pretty tiring. Um, but uh, we started out just having her ask me questions and we kind of do this with when the job opportunities arise. Like we do a lot of walks. So M will like ask me randomly a question uh, just to get some practice in. And, uh, but this was a very concentrated dosage of that. And in order to kind of get the most out of that, I actually uh, asked her to start typing out my answers as, uh, as I was giving them. That way I have something to look back on uh, for trying to improve my, um, my process over time. That was exhausting, but also very helpful. There's still like hundreds of questions to go through. Um, I don't know if we're gonna dedicate every single day to doing that, but it was good to get things moving again because they are difficult questions and it's good to have answers um, as opposed to coming up with answers uh, on the spot. So. Yeah, and in addition to the behavioral questions, we've also started brushing up on object-oriented programming principles. Yeah, which there's some curriculum within the Odin project that taught us a bit about that. I used that for that uh, software as a service application that I've been working on for the final JavaScript project. Uh, but yeah, it was good to brush up on some of the key concepts um, because two of the rules actually have an object oriented uh, programming focus. But that was the first job. Uh, there's two other jobs that also kind of came up as potential leads. One of them was a follow-up based off of a conversation that I've had in the past with, with a hiring manager. So I was just following up to see if there's any uh, developer roles uh, currently open in their uh, company. The other one was a pretty promising role that I reached out for. I think it's a unique fit for uh, from a tech perspective, but also from my background as well. So I reached out to the hiring manager for that role and we're, I'm actually gonna have a conversation with that person on Monday uh, to talk more about the role and talk about how I might be a good fit for it. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah, and I think as we've mentioned in the past couple of videos, just the importance of networking. If you're able to get out into your local community, if you are looking for a job, or even if you think you might be looking for a job down the line, it's been incredibly helpful for us and all of the leads that we've learned about have all come from our local network. And it's also just fun and we've met a lot of interesting people. We've also met some potential partners for our business. So the benefits have been amazing. So we're so thankful for our local tech meetup, but we definitely recommend that for anyone who hasn't gotten out there in their local community. And so that was one of the things that got us out into the local community was getting offline uh, and getting out and actually talking to people. So we started doing that back in February of this year. And I mean, I wouldn't have found these opportunities if we didn't decide to do that one day. Mm -mm. Uh, I mean, from being able to volunteer at a local conference to uh, giving a presentation at the local tech meetup and then just getting out and getting to know people, uh, being a part of the specific community that's tied uh, to our local community online. Uh, that's where those leads came from. And that's like the importance of getting out there is definitely um, like we could have potentially completed the Odin project by now, but we wouldn't have necessarily had those leads if uh, we didn't get out there and start doing things. Socially. I also, I don't know if we would have even started our business at this point if we hadn't have gotten involved. Because a true. lot of the inspiration that came for that business came from meeting people in the local community. So we would have been, you know, down a completely different path if we hadn't gotten out there. But we're so thankful that we did. Very true. Well, that's all we have for today. If you're currently completing the Odin project, we'd love to hear about how your progress is going. And if you're in the job search process, feel free to say hi and let us know how that's going as well. If you enjoy these updates, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to follow along on our web dev journey. Thanks for tuning in to A, A Couple, Couple Codes. Codes.